As you guys know, I live and breathe dust too. I play this map a lot. And there's one thing that I hate the most, and that is people throwing my Dust 2 games. And I know what I'm talking about, okay? So let's take a look at this one Dust 2 game I played. We win the pistol, but due to several factors, we lose the next round. One of which being this guy peeking top mid against the low buy, which you shouldn't do because nine out of 10 times, they're gonna have a scout. Second of all, me and Astrum are trying to clear out the mid guy, but I die before he trades me. But the most impacting factor in this round was by far this guy buying oh a deagle on oh, an anti-eco and not using his utility to stop them from planting on A. I'm gonna let this round play out from his point of view to show you what communication can do. Yes, got it. They, they can go short. He now knows they can go up short. And instead of mollying short, look what he does. To come push tunnel. City. Not only did he leave the bomb site, he also let the enemies know that he left the bomb site. Good little shot. Come, come, come. Run, 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 run. Now, at this point, he realizes his mistake, and it's not too late yet because he has a molly and he can't stop the plant. Now, what he fails to realize is that his teammates are pushing tunnel. To come push tunnel. So he needs to stay alive to play the retake. This, of course, shouldn't be an issue as he has a molly to stop the plant. Okay, you know, there were three different mistakes in one round. We deserve to lose that. Playing CT side dust 2 is a patient game. You don't go out swinging everywhere. It's just stupid. Tunnel one. But no, this guy decides to push up short and he loses us a player. Go rotate fast, they're all short. Now our teammate gives the information, they're all short. And instead of staying alive on ramp and trying to play a defensive setup, he decides to push them 1v5. In this situation, it is vital to stay alive on ramp to not give them so much space. Otherwise, it would become almost impossible for CT players to get back into this. Can you guys play maybe a bit more safe? You know, stay alive on ramp if they're executing short so Rotate can come in. It's very important to give an example after you say, play a bit more safe. That makes it easier for your teammate to understand what you mean. And I do entry. You are so bad. Flash links, flash links. Something like this, for example, achieves nothing but hatred. Guys, we can win this. Believe me. We just have to play passive. Give good info. Start using mics. I'm so blind. One more long inside. Nice flash, man. This might not seem like much, but giving small compliments like this makes your team believe in the win. Except the same thing happens. We're in an advantage. We can hold the angles, but we have a teammate that pushes for no reason. This weakens the B-bomb site, and it gives them a chance to come back into the round. He's pushing long doors with a deagle. Okay, do you understand what I'm saying? Too short. He could have just stayed inside long doors, and he would have had long unlocked that. And now I have to... I have to f***ing leave a site to kill long to make sure I don't get sandwiched by two angles. He's already dead. Oh. Need you saw him left side. Again, very important communication. His teammate can flank him from low. What are you doing? Yeah, because it's 9-2, you f***ing dumbass. Normally in the game, this is called the point of no return, where everyone just throws the game because they think it's a loss. Yeah, 9-2, it's 6-9, easy. Oh. Let's see what this guy does. He has the best spawn and an op, and we're gonna take long. Op I don't know. I mean, you have first spawn for a long peak, and what do you do? You run to car. Like, what? You have an op. Just peak long. Although he is quite angry, he does have a point because the best CT spawn beats the best T spawn when it comes to a long peak. Okay, how about this? If we win this game, I will give all of you a knife. And I'm not even joking. I will literally pay $200 out of my own pocket for you guys to try and win this game. After this game, I managed to get into another Dust2 game. And this game, people communicated. And now I can show you guys the difference a bit of communication makes. In this particular situation, we're down 5v3. But because the CTs have no patience, they decide to push up top mid and get punished for it. Not once, but twice. Uh, I, I play, I contact people, wait, maybe rotating B and stay mid. 
not only do they give good information, they actually say what they are going to do, which some people on Face It can definitely work on. Be clear, team. Be clear. Oh. One HP pistol. One pistol. HP. Nice. Info. Let's go, boys. So not only did everyone wait passively, they also gave good information and said exactly what they're gonna do. And if you combine all of that, you win the round. One mid door. Lower. Two low. Two load. Two load. I mollied them in. Stuck and load. Stuck and load. I stay. I stay right. Short, maybe. Nothing long. I more flash. I more flash. Nothing long. Should be one more. Nice. Okay. So let me break this down for you, so you guys can clearly understand the thought process behind this. First is the signal. One mid door. Lower. Two low. Two load. Second is the initiative. Two load. I mollied them in. Third, it's up for my teammates to make something out of that play. They know they're in lower. They can set up the flashes and then play accordingly. And this is what I mean by communication is key. If your communication is off, then your skills aren't going to matter. Okay, I check on Lita now. One middle and nine. Take window blue. These three words make a big difference between winning a round and losing a round. Yeah, yeah, window, I checked on. Compare for yourself these two clips I'm going to show you. Log out. Alright, I boost. Are you boosting? Boost, okay. I boost, I boost. Oh. boost, 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 boost me. It's full A, full A, full A. Stack A fast, stack A. Tunnel clear. I hold cross, only one smoke. Long, on, maybe five long. One smoke, one smoke. Okay. Long yeah, long. one flash. Try, mm -hmm. try and stay alive, let them cross if you can. Yeah, three long one bomb. Nice. Okay, hold the cross, guys. It's bad smoke. You can clearly hear the difference between a team that wants to win and a team that does not care about winning. If we can all make it and face it, that if we have someone on our team who is so motivated to win, we should all put in our energy to win that game. Not every game can be won solely on mechanical skill. It requires teamwork, communication, and a belief that you are going to win. And I truly hope that everyone who watches this video becomes a Chad and motivates their team. Thank you for watching.